Hello, hello everyone. Here we are with another mod review on Christmas Day. At least I hope that's when it comes out. But yeah, this time we are reviewing a long time personal favorite of mine, the Juice Mod. So the Juice Mod contains 380 new items, nine new armor sets, 26 new placeable things excluding banners, 11 new prefixes, 14 new regular enemies, nine new mini bosses, four new bosses and two new town NPCs and of course the Game Raiders 101 vanity hat. So this mod review is long overdue. A year ago I was supposed to do this and I just never got around to it. But let me just say this, the juice mod has become one of my all time favorite mods to just have in any mod pack. And if it isn't in a mod pack I'm using, there's probably a specific reason why, aka challenge runs. The juice mod has a ton of great original content and it also has a bunch of useful quality of life additions and recipes. Some example for recipes is the ability to craft things like the money trough, rotted discord, and the living loom. And that's just to name a few. The juice mod also makes clowns have a guaranteed banana ring drop and it also allows you to buy jungle roses off of the dryad. Quality of life changes like this are always a great addition to have in any mod, but sometimes these changes ride on the line of quality of life or just plain cheating. And in my opinion, the juice mod effortlessly balances most of its quality of life additions. Now let's talk about the original content that the juice mod adds, specifically the bosses. The bosses in this mod are one of my favorite things to look forward to especially the post Moonlord ones. All of the bosses have memorable fights that reward you with tons of unique and useful loot. The bosses from the Juice Mod are the memories that will stick with you the most after you play them up, especially the Jumbo Cactuar. The last thing I wanna talk about is the legendary weapons in the Juice Mod. These weapons are weapons that scale throughout the playthrough. They get stronger every time you kill a boss from either vanilla or the mod itself. Not only are these weapons all unique, but they all correlate to a character from my modded Terraria playthroughs. And I just want to thank Juice for going out of his way and dedicating items to the characters. I love you Juice, no homo though. So there's a lot more about the Juice mod that I can't go in detail with, but I like to keep my mod review simple and short before I start rambling on about the same things over and over again. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Shout out to Juice. That's been my guy for a while. Not in a gay way. But uh, my bad that I didn't get this out on Christmas. I said I was going to get this out on Christmas. But I literally fell asleep while editing the video. Like I got up for a second. I'm like, yo, let me lay down for a little bit. And I fell asleep. That's my bad. But at least I'm still going to get the review out. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, whatever. Patreon. You can donate to my Patreon if you guys haven't. Follow my Twitter. Check out my Twitch. I've been streaming almost every day. I think I've streamed every day this week, except for the days that I've worked. But yeah, lo 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 love you guys. Love Juiced.